Hello, so today we're going to go quickly over PDQ Deploy to see the basic functions of installing and uninstalling an application remotely. First, if you go to the package library in PDQ, you'll see a set of predefined packages in the library like 7-zip, which is an application that I already downloaded, and so many other applications. Now, in the 7-zip, um, you can see a list of steps within the installation process, and you can check them on your own. Uh, in the package, uh, we're going to search for VLC player today uh, to install it on a remote uh, machine uh, from the Active Directory. Okay, um, also we're going to install PDF SAM basic uh, on the remote machine as well. So, as I said, I'm going to install these applications on a remote client from the Active Directory. Uh, first, I'm going to install VLC Media Player. Uh, then, uh, within one step, I'm going to try to uninstall Zoom from the remote machine and install PDF SAM, SAM Basic at the same time uh, within the same package. Okay. Uh, and finally, I'm going to try to install uh, another application, which is ESET Antivirus on the remote machine. Okay. So, um, first, Having the applications downloaded, if you open the VLC media player, uh, you'll see a set of steps. Let me open it. So, first, to kill the running applications, install 32 bit, uh, uninstall 32 bit, and install the 64 bit version. Uh, as I said, this is predefined in the PDQ library. So, how to do so? Um, we deploy the application, so deploy once. Choose target as sent from the Active Directory, uh, the computer. I know the name of the computer, so I paste it, I search for it. Uh, and I select it, and that's it. And I deploy the package. So this will help in installing VLC on this remote machine. So you can uh, monitor the progress, how it's initializing. Uh, and then it will copy it to the remote client and after copying the process will be running on the remote machine uh, all the process it took like uh, less than a minute uh, or maybe like 30 seconds so now it should be running on the remote client and as you can see it's 33 seconds if you can monitor to the right and it's installing and now the status is successful. So if we go to the remote machine, let me refresh the control panel. You can see that VLC is installed. It's, it's, it's that fast. It's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, then we'll see how to uninstall Zoom uh, from PDQ and install PDFSM as said. So VLC was installed within like 37 seconds. It was amazing. Um, the next thing we are going to do, as said, um, we're going to uninstall Zoom and install PDF SAM. So, what I can do, I can copy the step that's already predefined in PDQ and I can create a new package. Okay, so a new package. Uh, I'm going to say like uninstall Zoom and then um, install the PDF SAM. Okay, so then install PDF SAM. So in the steps, first thing that I'll do, we can select it to have a command prompt that's running on the remote machine where I can have it running to uninstall Zoom, okay, and no interactive. I save it and I paste the step that I already copied from PDFSAM, okay. So I copy without changing anything that's already predefined in PDQ. I save the package, okay, so it's install PDFSAM, the step one is uninstall zoom so this is the package and that's it two steps it's uh, straightforward so i save it and i deploy it okay let me right click okay and deploy once so i deploy on the active directory client so i choose the target as and uh, let me okay choose target active directory and choose computer I paste the computer name, I select it, copy, okay, so we select the computer name and deploy now. 
I said the steps initializing it was fast and running. Okay, it's the, the two steps. So first thing, you initialize the uh, command prompt to uninstall Zoom, and then you run the step two, which is installing PDF Sam, where you copy it first to the remote machine, then run it. It took 20 seconds to uninstall Zoom and install PDF Sam. On the remote machine, well, that fast. I refresh it and, and that's it. So and Zoom was installed and PDF Sam is installed immediately. Okay. The last thing we're going to do here in this tutorial is to um, install ESET antivirus on the remote machine. So uh, we're going to create a new package. So install ESET. Antivirus. Uh, I have the installation installation files on my computer, so it's one step. It's installed. So I browse to get the installer, the MSI package. It's local on my machine, and if we uh, check it, the MSI options that we have, we have we can install, uninstall, or repair. And if you can notice in the command line, whenever I change the option to install or uninstall, it's simply like changing the uh, forward slash i um, also in the options we have prompt restart always never and also the command will change accordingly not to restart prompt restart or always restarting we're gonna set it to never or no restart not to restart the machine so that's it um, I'm gonna call the step install uh, ESET okay so that's it I have the installer uh, I copied I, I wanted I wanted the path I save it and simply right click and deploy once. Again, it's the same remote machine that I'm uh, installing on. So I go to the Active Directory, I select the computer, and I click um, deploy. Now, uh, the installer is a bit uh, large, so we're going to see how much time. So it's copying the installer to the remote machine. Um, okay, we're going to wait for it to finish copying and then running the installation file so the installer is expected to take some time running on the remote machine since the size is uh, not small so I'm gonna skip this part uh, until the installation is done so it didn't take that much uh, it took like 48 seconds to install ESET if you can see on the remote machine, if you refresh, then you see that ESET is now installed. So um, in this tutorial, uh, as we saw, we went over installing VLC Media Player from the predefined package in PDQ. Uh, then uh, we created another package to install Zoom uh, through command line and install PDF SAM that was already in the uh, package library. Uh, and we installed ESET antivirus uh, from an MSI installer that's on our PC. So mainly that's it. It was a quick uh, tutorial on how to use PDQ. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching.